Alrighty, and this is our Hall of Letters, our Sarah Grace Parker Hall of Letters. I don't know who Sarah Grace Parker was. I think she just wrote a lot of letters, and then they built this big building for her. No, I'm just kidding. Um, house here is English Creative Writing, Foreign Language, as well as Government, and our Philosophy Department as well. As you can see, professors' offices are on this side, and classrooms are on this side. This building is actually really representative of our relationship with our faculty members. We have about a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio, which means we have really, really close bonds with our uh, professors. They have to offer some, um, office hours as well, some form of communication, cell phone numbers, email numbers, um, um, office hours. I've even, um, one of my friends dog sat for one of his professors over the summer, as well as one of my friends house sat for her professor during um, winter break. We actually had a house sitting sleepover party because her advisor's house was in the mountains and she was a little scared to stay there alone. So we have really, really great relationships with our faculty members, which is really, really amazing. And right in here, this is our, actually our largest classroom on campus. This is a Hall of Letters 100, and it only seats about 100 people, which is really amazing. Um, but we don't actually use this for a classroom because we'd only fill up the first two rows. All of our, our average class size is about 18 to 22. Our small, my smallest class was six, and that was an intro class, uh, was a Johnston class, and my largest class was 36, and that was an intro class. So you can have, um, so we have really, really small classes. I don't think you're gonna see a class over 40 unless you're um, taking a music class. But we use this room for uh, small club meetings as well as department meetings. Um, the foreign language department likes to watch foreign language movies in here, as well as we have uh, some poets come and read their poetry, and as well as some speakers come and give some inspirational words in here. Um, this building, this room is actually very outdated co compared to our teaching style here uh, currently. We have about 75% of our classes are discussion-based classes, which means that um, instead of sitting in the back of your class looking at the back of your peers' heads while your professor presses next on the PowerPoint and you're texting, you're actually sitting in a circle with your uh, peers and your teacher discussing the, um, the topic and getting comprehensive understanding of the education. It's um, really, really great. It's definitely the best way that I learn. And um, um, even some of the sciences are trying to incorporate discussion-based learning um, in their classes as well. Um, a little bit more about our academics on campus. We have about, um, we have about 41 programs of study, including our new astronomy, not astrology, astronomy minor, as well as 85% um, of our faculty members have a terminal degree in their field, which means they have a um, PhD or equivalent degree in their field, which is absolutely amazing um, um, because that means they know what they're t talking about. Alrighty, here at the University of Redlands, we are on a 4 4 1 schedule. That means four months in the fall, four months in the spring, and one month during the month of May, conveniently called May term. And May term is a time where you take one class for the entire month. It's kind of like a semester's worth of work crammed into one month. You could take a really hard class like math or science if you need some time to catch up on that. Or you could take a really fun class like sketch comedy, which is what I took, which is why I'm telling all of these horrible jokes. Um, or you could uh, take a travel course um, during May term, which is what I'll tell you about a little bit later.